Hi and welcome to this Dreamweaver tutorial. My name is Daniel Walter Scott and I'm a trainer here at Bring Your Own Laptop. Now um, if you're going to follow along with these tutorials, um, just so you know there's a link to all the class files that we use in the notes of this YouTube video or if you're following along on our website you'll find a link on the page here somewhere for the, yeah, for the notes to follow along. So um, what we're going to be doing in this tutorial is we're going to be creating some additional pages. Um, because in the next tutorial we're going to set up um, a navigation for the website. So we need a few different pages to be able to jump from page to page. Um, we're going to have this, our home page, which is on the screen now, and we're going to have two other pages. We'll have our About Us page and our Contact Us page. Um, um, great, so we've got our first page. Um, you can see at the top here, um, I've actually changed this here it did say I think Dreamweaver tutorial website or something like that so we've changed that to be more specific for this homepage Vintage Camper, uh, Camper Rental Sydney okay more specific for this page right so this is the homepage to make an additional page it's very common to do this quite simple file save as okay so index.html was our homepage and it has to be called that that our homepage definitely has to be called index otherwise it won't be found. But every other page can be called um, something else, okay, unique. There are a few rules, okay, you can't use things like spaces. I couldn't call this about us, okay, because um, what happens is, let's uh, put a little zoom, there it is. Okay, with about us spaces, it doesn't like. It ends up putting uh, percent twenties in there and some browsers will work around it and most browsers won't, it'll come up with an error. So you need to have no spaces or you can use a hyphen or an underscore. Okay, so it's up to you. I prefer hyphens, okay, and um, hyphens as a general rule are better anyway because uh, things like screen readers um, that help people that are disabled read screens, okay, reads out links and comments and stuff. And um, what the hyphen will do is that the screen reader tends to read them as separate words. It'll say about us if I use an underscore, okay, it tends to read them out as a solid word trying to read the word about us as one solid word. So let's put in hyphens, up to you. Um, all right, next thing is, is it save? Okay, so we've got our index page and our about us page. They look exactly the same. So there's a couple of things we need to do first of all to go through and change. We need to have a unique title on every page. So our home page was called Vintage Camper Rentals. So this one's gonna be called Vintage Camper About Us. Okay, not very exciting for the About Us page. It's when you get into different pages, more of your product pages or specific vehicles that you can get a little bit more creative with the titles. All right, so we've done that, we'll save it. I've got some copy that's already been created for this website. Okay, and if you're following along using our exam example files, you'll find them um, after you've downloaded them. Um, I've put mine on my desktop. So desktop, Mac or PC, you'll find your desktop, find Dreamweaver exercise files, open up text. And towards the bottom there, you've got the homepage text that we used uh, early tutorial. We're gonna use this camper rental one. Let's open this one up. Okay, let's select all of this text. And remember um, in a previous tutorial, I think it was uh, number three, and um, it said about washing the text. Okay, so you need to copy it and paste it into on a Mac into Notepad. Sorry, on a Mac into uh, text edit and on a PC onto Notepad. For this tutorial though, I've gone through and washed it already, so I can guarantee that's clean, just to save a bit of time for us teaching. All right, so I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna delete all this text and put in the text from that page. Okay, it's come through all as paragraph text. I can see that by down the bottom here, it's in a P tag and you can see down here, um, it's written paragraph. So what I need to do is have my, uh, break it up into the different tags. So we've got this first tag, which is going to be my H1. Okay, so it's called heading one, and you can see down here, the tag selector is called an H1, and I can check in my code view. Okay, there he is there. He is an H1 tag. Okay, that is the most important thing on this page. It's about camper rentals. Okay, and this one's gonna be camper rental. Let me make it a little bit better about us. Now, an H2. It's gonna be this thing here. Okay, this is the second most important part on the page, um, and you can change it to um, heading two. A little shortcut that I just used, and I forget I use them. If you hold control um, two or command two on a Mac, um, it will update it. So if I go command one, two, three, you'll see it'll toggle between the headings. 
Okay, if you're not really for shortcuts, don't worry, just use these buttons down here. All right, so we're at heading one, we've got some paragraph text, and we've got a heading two. We've changed the title unique for this page. Let's hit File Save, and let's do the third page. So File Save As, okay, this one's gonna be the contact us, contact hyphen us, the HTML. Now it's all going into that same folder with the index pages, hit save. Now remember the first thing, it needs a unique title at the top there. So I'm gonna call this one, ah, very exciting, it's gonna be called uh, Vintage Camper Contact Page. Very exciting. All right, um, so, and we're gonna go bring in the text um, for the Contact Us page. So on my one, it's on my desktop, okay. On my desktop, inside Dreamweaver exercise files, under text, and down the bottom there, we've got vintage, um, vintage three, contact us. So I'm gonna copy all of this. You should go and wash it, okay. Stick it in a notepad or text edit on a Mac, but I know that I've already washed this stuff for my students, so it's nice and clean, ready to go into Dreamweaver, not causing us any trouble. Let's copy, go into Dreamweaver, and I'm gonna select all of this and paste it. All right, um, so remember our H1s? So this first bit is our heading one, the most important thing. And I don't really have a heading two for this page. Um, we're gonna do some styling later on when we look at CSS to make all this stuff look a lot nicer and kind of break it up. But that's the most important. This is the regular paragraph stuff. All right, let's hit save, so file, save. And uh, the, so the next thing we're gonna do is add a navigation so that you can jump between these three pages. Okay, so we've got an index page, an about us page, and the contact us page. All right, thanks for this. Um, see you in the next tutorial.